I often wonder. How many alternate timelines do you destroy the world because... Frankly, you don't have the colonies to die yourself. Hello everyone, this is James. Welcome to Digital Charcuterie. I hope you are all having a great day. Please give us a like and a subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. Got a lot of fun stuff coming up. Right now I want to talk a little bit about the DCEU. Yesterday I did a video talking about the complete overhaul of the DCEU and what it could mean for the Snyderverse and how it really seems like they're going to push everything off to the side. The problem with that is they have all of these films under their belt already. We're getting Black Adam, we're getting Shazam 2, we're getting Aquaman 2, we're getting maybe The Flash, who knows, maybe, who knows. But all of these movies are slated to release. They're already done, they're in the can. Wonder Woman 3 is in pre-production. How do you just nix all, I mean, sure, WB, DC, they're pretty good at that. However, you gotta believe that they're gonna keep those intact, keep them as they will. And to do that, you need to continue them. In the new reports from Variety, they're saying that that slab over at Warner Discovery is looking for a Kevin Feige type. And the one thing Kevin Feige seems to be brilliant at is course correcting. You can't tell me the MCU was planned start to finish 10 years ago. Heck no! He started it off and they made adjustments as they needed and that's what is needed right now in the DCEU adjustments. Course correcting. You don't shelve what you have. That's a waste of money. You make money, you turn what you have into a profit and into longevity. And now I've got to go back to a video I did last week about how Zaslav was looking to hire a czar and that it appears this is all turning out to be true and that czar, one of the names that came up was Scott Stuber from Netflix. Now, there are a few other names in that report. Some of them have already been washed away. They are not happening. But Scott Stuber's name is still out there. If they could poach him from Netflix, he seems like someone who understands what it takes. I mean, Netflix, you know, let's be honest, biggest studio right now. You have Netflix, biggest streamer, and the person that he's working closely with on Netflix, one of the people, is Zack Snyder, Rebel Moon, Army of the Dead, all that fun stuff he's got going on over there. He started with DC films. He started, Man of Steel is a course correction on its own. That was never meant to start a shared universe. Man of Steel bleeds into Batman v Superman seamlessly. It's brilliant, he knows what he's doing, and he has close ties with Scott Stuber. So if Stuber is the one that comes over, Here's the thing, I always compare it to Star Wars, and in Star Wars you have John Favreau, but you also have Dave Filoni. One knows the process, one knows the material. Now if you bring Scott Stuber over, he could be the Feige. But Feige is Feige, there's only one Feige. He could be Feige and Snyder could be the second half of that Feige. He could be the one that plans it all out. Now he is super busy with the Rebel Moon and the Army of the Dead, but if he oversees it, and also not everyone is a massive Zack Snyder fan. He has a very specific look and feel to his films. However, when he produces films, Wonder Woman, the biggest films to release from DC film. He knows what he's doing. He can produce. He can oversee it all. So this is a possibility that could be coming into play. Zaslav hiring his Feige type. That Feige type could be a combination of Stuber and Snyder. It could just be Stuber for title's sake and Snyder can come over and produce and plan out and map out the DC E youth. None of this, of course, is confirmed, but these are all these are things starting to line up. It kind of gives you a little bit more hope now. When you read the variety report, it's like, oh, very disappointing. But now all of a sudden you, you look at it from the outside looking in and you say, oh, maybe there is hope. Maybe there is a plausibility here that this could happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I read them all and I appreciate them all. So thank you so much. And don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.